I don't know about the NFC, but I know they're going to dominate the NFC East for years to come. Yeah. They are built to last. The question is, Skip, what, hap- what does 49ers do with a quarterback? Because I believe the quarterback, the uh, uh, 49ers are loaded too. That defense is legit. The skilled players, not Christian McCaffrey, gets a whole year. Debo's back. Brandon Ayu, Kittle, that offensive line. Who's going to be the quarterback, Skip? Good question. How good is Trey Lance going to be? Great question. Because if it, it, they could be on a collision course for years to come. Yep. But if you look at the odds for 50, uh, uh, the Chiefs, Buffalo, mm-hmm. that's two AFC teams. Yep. Cincinnati, Baltimore Chargers, that's three. So three of the, uh, uh, three of the four, the, uh, uh, five of the top eight teams to get to the Super Bowl prediction is that an AFC. Mm, what are the two? Skip. Philadelphia? Philadelphia and uh, the, uh, the 49ers. And the and Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys are three. Three, Skip. right? Because they know they're going to see. They throw the Cowboys in there because they know they're going to get some free money. Okay. Just in case they're going to lose on somebody, they'll get free money off the Cowboys. You could be right. You and I both know Cowboys ain't going nowhere, Skip. Mm-hmm. Of all the teams that they listed, and the only reason we're going to say they have a better quarterback than the 49ers is because we don't know who the 49ers quarterback is going to be. Mm-hmm. But you tell me right now. The Cowboys got a better quarterback than Kansas City? Hell no. Buffalo? Hell no. Eagles? Hell no. Cincinnati? Hell no. Lamar Jackson? No. We don't know if he'll be back, but I'm going to say he is. Or the Chargers, Justin Herbert. So they got the worst quarterback of anybody that made this list. Mm-hmm. And that's why you're not going to go nowhere. Mm. Because every time, what, it come, what does it come down to, Skip? Super Bowls come down to what? Quarterback play. Mm. Playoffs come down to what, Skip? Quarterback play. You got it. And what has your quarterback been? Subpar. So Jalen Hurts, they're going to take care of him. They're going to give him $50 million, don't even bat an eye. I Skip, they ain't going to go back and forth. Well, we don't know. Can he stay healthy? Is this style conducive? Yada, yada. They ain't going to give you all that. Agreed. They're going to say, this man has done everything that we've asked him to do. He's been a model citizen. He is on a model and, citizen. On and off On the and off. What you want, son? Yep. I need $50 million. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got it. How yep. much you need guaranteed? Yep. Okay, you got it. Mm-hmm. So, Skip, they're, they're set. Ooh. Skip. And, and and all of no no injuries, the Eagles. All this, I mean, it looked like Jalen's shoulder was a little nick skip on that lad, that hail mary. I he know Jalen a lot on skip, it. I know Jalen Hurts can throw the ball further than that. I would agree. I know he can throw the ball further than that. Well, he had during the game. So that tells me that that shoulder still wasn't a hundred percent. It will get through the off season, hundred percent. The question is, Skip, you look at their free agents: Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Hargrove, Edwards. Kazir White, Bradbury, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, and Marcus Sepp. You don't want all those guys back. No. Nope. How many of those guys come back? And can you upgrade? Do you go out in free agency? How much money do you have? The draft, they got, they got a couple first-round picks, Skip. They do. I told you yesterday, they have the 10th overall as well as now the 31st pick. Right? So, so with that being said, mm-hmm. they could be major players in free agency? Absolutely. They can trade those picks. They can trade that 31st pick in the 10 to Correct. move up if there's somebody that they really like. They could do that. So the Eagles, the Eagles will be formidable because the thing that I love most about the Eagles, yeah, High Roseman done a great job, is that quarterback, I know he's going to get back in the lab, and I know he's going to work. All mm-hmm. that other stuff doesn't matter to me. Agreed. Key is what makes it work. <sighs> so here's the... Metallic silver lining for me as a <laughs> lifelong diehard Cowboy fan off last night's game. I've told you from the start, I love me some Jalen mm-hmm. Hurts. I believe in him. He's trustable. He's dependable. He is not injury prone. I know he got a shoulder banged up, but yeah. he'll learn. He, that, that was one of those body weight yes. plays yes. where yes. you can't do it in the pocket, but you can do it when you run down Correct. Field. He will work to get even better than he was this year. And he was the most improved player in pro football this year. Yes. Yeah. I believe in him and I fear him because he's only 24 years of age. So you can make a case for the next decade for mm-hmm. sure. Maybe more. Heck, Brady played till he's 45. Maybe for 15 years, I'm going to have to deal with Jalen Hurts in that division yes. and in the NFC. But what I did love about last night was what my instinct told me about the Philly defense proved true. (laughs) It's not that good. Mm -mm. It's not intimidating. It's not overwhelming. I watched Dak Prescott as much as he struggled this year. He was up, he was down, he was up, he was down. He was way up against that defense on Christmas Eve. I realized 
the opponent was Gardner Minshew, and Minshew handed them, or the Eagles did, four turnovers. Four turnovers. So you had shorter fields, but you still scored 40 points on that defense, and it is torchable. It is roastable. Well, can you imagine how many points Kansas City would have scored oh. if they got four turnovers? Hey, hey, the, the 60, name it. It'd be name the yeah, score. Exactly. You could just name it. You'd have to call off the dogs. They'd, in had, the a, they'd had a Cowboys Buffalo they out here, out they, they, out here they, past the deal. It would have gotten completely out of hand. The Cowboys did that to Buffalo twice, yes. actually. But the point was, the, the defense does not scare me. It gives me hope and heart because they're going to have a hard time, and they get they have some older players on yeah. defense, and they're going to have to continue to restock. Now, with that tenth pick, I'm sure they're going to take somebody on defense yeah. to restock the the cover. But let me ask you a question. What about your defense? Can your defense stop their offense? Because you saw their offense working at maximum capacity. Okay. Now, here's the thing now. You got to do something with him. Trayvon Day is going to want his money. He will. And pretty soon, Mike you is going to want his money. Yep. I and, don't, and I don't believe either guy going to offer you a discount. Okay. And CD's going to want his money. You know, C, okay. you know, CD can get in line to get paid this year. He is. And so is Diggs. Okay. I got it. We will figure that out because <laughs> Jerry always does figure that out. But right here, right now, you know and I know my Cowboy defense is better than Philadelphia's defense. So at least I have a shot. Right. Because when you do have a defense that is as formidable as mine is, and DQ, as you call him, Dan Quinn, is yeah, back. back. Yeah. As the driving force of my defense, I have a chance. Can I ask you a question? Without those four turnovers, can your defense go get 35, 36, 38 points? Because we saw the Eagles. We know the Eagles can move the ball. The Eagles are going to be able to move the ball skill. Okay. Jalen Hurts is only going to get better. So the question that I have for you, what about your offense and your quarterback? Okay. What happened to Cooper Rush at Philadelphia? This is much earlier in the year, right? right? But Cooper Rush was riding high when we won four straight games. Correct. And all of a sudden, my Cowboys are back in the saddle, and they're going to Philadelphia for a big Sunday night game. And Cooper Rush gets thrown into a fire that was a little too hot for him to start with. Mm -hmm. And he throws one up that Bradbury gets a hand on and tips up in the air, and C.J. Right. Gardner Johnson, Johnson, he picks it. it off. And then he makes Slay a real it. bad idea throw, and Slay slays him over yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, it's 20 to nothing late in the first half, but he goes and gets seven. And then he winds up Cooper Rush scoring Wait a second, 17 unanswered points. And you wake up early in the fourth quarter and look up at the scoreboard, and it's 20 to 17, Philadelphia. Right. And it's up to my defense. Can you make a stop? Can no, you make a stop? Mm -mm. And Jalen Hurts goes to third down three straight times in the possession and converts and converts. I think it was third and four, third and five, third and four. And you know what? He, it's what he was doing last night. Yes. Convert, convert, convert. Correct. And then he hits AJ for a big game, and then he hits Devontae for a touchdown. Correct. That's who they are. But let me tell you, let me ask you this. Is A.J. or Devontae, are we talking about Jerry Rice and Michael no. Irvin? We're not. They're, no. they're very good. But they want, they're, they're a very formidable duo sure. that you're going to have no. to deal with for the foreseeable okay. future. I, and Dallas Goddard showed you he, last he, night. He's very good. Is he Shannon Sharp? No. <laughs> is, is, is he Travis Kelsey? No. No. Is he Kittle? I don't think so. I, I'm, I can't put him up in Kittle's class. Yeah. But I think the okay. thing is, Skip, when you got those two guys working outside, he's going to get a lot of coverage with a linebacker or a smaller safety. He's a big kid. He's okay. a big man. I should yeah. say it no, young. I, I, but I'm saying he, he's big, and so he, he can body. <laughs> he can make plays. He showed me something last okay. night. I thought he was good, but I think now he took a progression. <sighs> he said, hold on. Why can't I be one of the tight ends to make the Pro Bowl? Yep. Okay. Why not? It. All right. Speaking of San Francisco, that's by far the best team in the NFC, top to bottom, except for the quarterback. The quarterback. Okay? <laughs> that's a big except, right? Yeah. Okay? I don't really trust my quarterback going forward. I've tried to for seven years, but I can't. He's not bad, but he's not great. Right. But is he good enough to beat Philadelphia twice next year? He could. I, I wouldn't put it past him at all. I challenged Philadelphia fans you think, last night you, with a video. I, we'll get you twice next year. You, so you think you guys can go to Philly and beat them? Absolutely. Absolutely. With your, with your quarterback? With, with my defense. Skip, but you already, but you just saw your defense can't overcome poor, uh, inadequate quarterback play. Yeah. Well, I still haven't gotten over what my quarterback couldn't do at San Francisco. Oh, that's my point. I know. Well, <laughs> but just, but so what? Well, I'm stuck with it. Yes, you are. Unless Jerry would trade him straight up for Aaron Rodgers, and then we could have a different what conversation. What makes you think Green Bay wants to trade him? They won't. Well, they, uh, it seems like they're in the market to yes. shop him. Yeah, yeah, to get draft compensation back. Okay. Not to get another quarterback because they, I believe they believe in Jordan Love. Well, we can trade problem for problem. Because you heard Aaron Jones. Aaron I Jones said, I believe. He was raving about it. Thank you.
Whew. All right, guys, let's circle back to the quarterbacks in this Super Bowl matchup. Jalen Hurts, by the way, setting new Super Bowl rushing records for a quarterback, both in touchdowns and total yards. So which one actually, guys, had the better game last night? Really? <laughs> let's debate. Coming up next on Undisputed. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.